let's just hope nobody notices. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. You two are dressed the same. That's so cute. You're like twins. At least she liked it. <sighs> oh, Tron, there you are. Where have you been? Yeah, you had us worried for quite a bit. Oh, it's it's nothing. Ultron, we're your friends. You can tell us anything. All right, all right. Just look over there, Janet and Hank. Oh, yeah, I can't see, guys. They're so happy together. It's just, I want something like that. I'm ready for a committed relationship. Oh, look who just walked in. This joke. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make things right between us. Yeah, there we go with that, a boy. Oh, hey. Oh, oh. Hi. Look, Joe Costa. I, I know things didn't go the way, um, the way we wanted, but I, I'm a changed robot. Okay. I'm thinking maybe we, Joe Costa. I didn't know you were going to be at this party. Who's this? Joe Costa, have you been have you been seeing other Ultrons? <laughs> well... Oh, Joey, you're here. I'm glad you're able to make it, babe. Who are all these other guys? Uh, I'm just gonna... Only one of us can date Joe Costa. And I know a way to decide who it is. Action figure showdown! That's right, folks. It's about time for another episode of Action Figure Showdown. Today, we are going to decide who is the very best Hasbro Ultron figure. The rules are simple. Five rounds. The figure with the most points by the end gets to be declared the winner and the best Marvel Legends Hasbro Ultron figure. May the best robot win. Round one. Sculpt. Yep, time for Sculpt, and here's the first one. This one released, uh, this Ultron released in, um, I believe the Iron Man 3 wave, the Iron Monger Build-A-Figure wave, and it is using the same body mold as Titanium Man from the Iron Man 2, uh, movie line series. Uh, it wasn't yet called Marvel Legends, but, yeah, it's from an earlier Hasbro toy line. It absolutely did not fit, uh, Titanium Man in any, uh, capacity but here it actually works out really well it uses different shoulder pads and as you can see there's lots and lots of detail it being like a movie figure of course you're going to get a lot of intricate details in there uh it just looks very very nice love the spine the ridges on the spine on the back and i love the segments all throughout the body on the arms the body the legs those shoulder pads really look nice on this figure and of course that head sculpt it is just a perfect representation of that classic Ultron head uh you know the one that we all pretty much think of when we think of the character Ultron you know we think of like this head um it does and it doesn't really look out of place like on this like modernized body like it still looks fantastic that just goes to show how great the artist did like when they drew this figure or this character like the head is just like it looks perfect no matter where it is Next up, we have the Zenmu Wave Ultron. This one came out like in a wave that was just primarily villains, like a very, very creative take on uh, on Marvel Legends waves from the Hasbro team. Uh, yeah, this guy was pretty much the standout of that wave. Wait, did he come out in that wave? No, it was Ursa Major, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, correction, it was the Ursa Major wave. I'm sorry. Um, we're keeping that in. I want you all to know how uh, dumb I am. <laughs> yeah, so it came out in the Ursa Major wave. It was a standout in that entire wave. The, the wave was like really good. It had a bunch of cool... It had Ironheart, the stealth Iron Man, hologram Iron Man, you know, everyone's favorite Iron Man figure. Um, but yeah, this one right here was the standout. It was worth a lot more than all the other figures in the wave, and rightfully so because it was... Finally, like, a classic interpretation of 
Ultron in this line, you know. Before this, we had um we had the one I just showed last, and we also had like a three pack that came with like Vision and Hulk. The, uh, they both like, ugh, you know, by today's standards, they both look, you know, but this guy just looks perfect. And you go up, you get like ridges every now and then, but like it's not as segmented as the last one. And yeah, it's just a perfect representation of that classic Ultron now. Uh, and even down to the head sculpt, I think it's so, so good. Those spikes on the shoulders, the lines on the chest. Oh my God. Just everything about this sculpt is perfect. And next up, we have the most recent Ultron released in this line. Um, the Ant-Man Quantumania. Who was it? Cassie Lang build a figure wave? I, I don't know. It, it, that, that movie was, uh, was garbage. All right. I want to say it outright, but... That wave did have a few good figures, uh, this being one of them. You know, this is a more modern interpretation of Ultron. It's kind of weird. You know, the first one that I showed is like a classic head on like a modern body. The um, the last one is just classic head, classic body. This one, classic body, modern head. And, you know, it, it works kind of. I mean, I wish they would have like, change it up a bit you know it, it looks a little weird being on this like classic body it, it I, I will i will admit that you know um there's nothing wrong with the head i think the head looks great i love the sculpt kind of wish the mouth was um hollow um but i get i get why it's not you know to show that uh those effects those crackling effects in the in the mouth but mm, mm, i don't know after some careful consideration, I'm going to give the point to the Ursa Major Wave Ultron. He has the best sculpt. All right, so it's one point for Ursa Major and zero for both uh, Cassie Lang and Ironmonger Ultrons. Round two, paint. Going over paint, and for this one, um, you know, it's going to be a little hard to judge because they're all, like, primarily one color. But as you can see with this Ultron, he does have different colors uh, thrown about all across the silver. It's just like a, a metallic blue, pretty much. Yeah, you get it on the inside of the legs, as you can see, and on the abdomen, by the, uh, on the sides, you know, um... But other than that, there's like no other paint aside from, you know, the red on the shoulder pads and the head. Other than that, yeah, it's just all one silver color. Uh, do I think the metallic blue work or give extra to this figure? Mm, not really. It's like just there. So, yeah. Next up, Ursa Major. And this one is very special compared to the other two because this one is not does not have marbleized silver uh, plastic this one is all painted on top and it makes the figure look so much better you know it's just a lot a lot cleaner uh, a lot crisp um one thing i will say is that the paint seems to chip a little easy that's my only concern about how owning this figure is I, like you know if it falls off the shelf that's it half the paint's gone <laughs> no but um yeah the paint all throughout is very consistent there's no like Darker area here, darker area there, light, you know, it's all consistent. It's all one color. And, of course, you get that painted um, eyes. Sadly, however, there is one big missing piece to this, and it's the mouth. Where's the red paint? No. What could have been, like, the definitive Ultron for all time is forever, like, hindered by this one oversight. Man, it's such a bummer. Now on to Cassie Lang uh, Ultron, and this figure has nothing. It has nothing other than the eyes. I don't even think the eyes are painted on. There's a plastic piece underneath. Um, yeah, it's just the mouth with the crackle effect, the black spots. Um, very, uh, very sparse in paint. It doesn't need to be like all painted out, but yeah. So yeah, with all that said, I mean, come on, Ursa Major wave, it's him all day. So two points for Ursa Major, and zero for both Ironmonger and Cassie Lang. Round three, accessories. 
For accessories, Ironmonger Wave, Ultron gets nothing. Okay, moving on. The case is different with these two, however, because they both share the exact same accessories. You know, these two fisted hands and uh, two... Oh boy, let me reach over. <sighs> yeah, here's the other fisted hand. In the case of, like, um, doing this review fast, I'm not going to pull out his accessories because they're the exact same. Just imagine... Just imagine these in like a uh, brighter silver, <laughs> pretty much. But uh, yeah, he has the open hand and two fisted, two gripping hands, and of course that crackle effect that he's been holding this entire review that you could put inside this mouth. Um, I think I'm gonna, I think, mm, hold on, real quick, I want to see how this looks. Let's see. Uh, oh, I'd have to put it in this way just to show the little black and little black spots um yeah that works it, i don't think it works too well but it works for this round i think the winner is cassie lang ultron finally getting on the board uh yeah so it's one point for cassie lang two for ursa major and zero for ironmonger round four articulation Going over articulation real quick, the head for Ironmonger moves this far up, this far down, side to side movement, the shoulder is able to move up this far, go all the way around, upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, standard Hasbro wrist articulation, he has ab crunch allowing him to move this far back, this far forward, he has a waist swivel, and whatever the fuck, whatever the hell this is called, I forget the name of the joint, but it allows him to move this his leg this far out, and then, ooh baby, come on. This far to the side, and a tiny bit back. He has upper thigh swivel, a double jointed knee, and he has foot articulation moving this far down and this far up. No pivot. And again, in the spirit of saving time, I'm just going to go over this guy because they have the exact same articulation. So the head is able to move up this far, move down a pretty good amount. Uh, he has a tiny bit of pivot right there, side to side movement. His arm is able to move this far up, go all the way around. Upper bicep swivel, double jointed knee, elbow, sorry. <laughs> uh, he has standard wrist articulation. He's able to bend back this far, go forward this much, side to side, all the way around, waist swivel. His legs kicks out this much, goes out to the side that much, goes back a tiny bit. He has upper thigh swivel, double jointed knee. He has mid calf rotation. His foot goes down this much, goes up that much, and crock up. And the winner here is a tie between Ursa Major and Cassie Lang, you know, them being the same mold. Putting them both at two points for Cassie Lang and three for Ursa Major. Now, Cassie Lang Ultron has one more chance to tie, either, you know, to tie up the game. Uh, sadly, Ironmonger Ultron is, oh, it's going to be rough for you. Hopefully, hopefully you can get a point on the board. I'm hoping. Now, let's get to the next round. Round five, price. All right, time for round five. Who is the cheapest Ultron here? All right, so starting off with the most expensive one, it seems to be like sort of a tie between uh, the Ironmonger wave and uh, the Ursa Major wave Ultrons. Now, uh, Ironmonger wave is obviously going to be a lot more uh, mint, you know, mint condition. If he comes with the head, because you know that it's an old bill of figure, it's a little harder to get your hands on. So obviously he's gonna be a uh, a little bit more. I'm gonna I'll say like he's the most expensive one here. The second is Ursa Major. I know they did like a rerun for him for this Ultron. I think um they like just they just pushed way 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 too many of them out. Uh, but it still like manages to middle between like twenty five to thirty ish dollars, whereas. Cassie Lang Ultron is dirt cheap. You can get him loose for 12, 14 bucks. I've been seeing people even buy him for $11 on eBay. Yeah, he is very, very, very cheap. If you want him in mint condition, you can get him at retail or even less than that. Uh, yeah, it gives Cassie Lang Ultron the point for this round. So you get three uh, for Cassie Lang Ultron, three for Ursa Major, and zero for. <laughs> Ironmongers. Aw. <laughs> yep, guess they have to share a lady now. <laughs> oh no, they're touching. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to put I'm gonna have to intervene. Which one do I think is better? 
It's Ursa Major. I mean, come on. I mean, <laughs> that one is the definitive Ultron for me, at least. Um, the only reason why it was a tie is because of the price round. You know, that really, uh, it, it really gave um, Cassie Lang Ultron that opportunity to advance, you know, to tie up the game. But, I mean, come on. Do you really think this one is on the same level as this one? The winner here is Ursa Major, but first I'm going to give my overall ratings to the other figures. Ironmonger Wave, he gets a 7 out of 10, you know, a very good figure, obviously dated, but you know, still alright. If you want to army build him, he looks great. Uh, now, on to Cassie Lang, he gets a 7.5, I'm kind of, yeah, 7.5 out of 10. Again, very good figure. Um, but there's just one that does it a lot better. That is the Ursa Major Wave. Missing that mouth paint, but it doesn't matter. It still gets a 9.5 out of 10. Yeah, just a near perfect figure. And that'll do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with the fan. Anything you can do with the support channel, we greatly appreciate it. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm. Bye.